What is going on? Dar Sticks here, and today we are going to take a look at week 73 update for our account. Uh, we are going to do this one at double speed because we do quite a bit of work on this one. I want to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoy it sped up like this or you guys would rather have it at normal speed. Uh, we are going to go through here. Uh, we are taking CLS to Relic 3 this week for the Jedi Knight Luke journey there. So we are going to do that. We are going to continue to work on the CLS squad, uh, bringing them up. And so we will go in. Uh, Wampa, we're also going to work. That will be our next relic target. Uh, I don't know if we will hit it next week or not, uh, but we're going to sure try to get pretty close. Uh, hopefully we can get some good rewards and other things. Um, we are going to keep working on that, though, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully... Uh, we'll make some good progress on that. We might need just like lack a piece or two on Wampa. Uh, we are going to keep working on some other things. So you can see kind of where we're at on the account right now. Uh, Treya needs some work. And you can see uh, we did get Nihilus all the way to seven stars. So we'll go ahead and get him to seven stars and uh, start using that squad a little bit more. Uh, now that we've got all of them to seven stars and we can throw something else, some other Sith in there for 5v5 and see how that goes. Um, so that will be kind of where we're working on. You can see for Darth Revan, we're still working on Jahani and um, the Basil of Sean Fallen. Uh, so we'll continue working on those. And Jahani, we actually got quite a few levels there. Um, and we're going to work on some of these abilities here just go ahead and get them at a little bit better spot um, use some of these uh, materials that we've kind of been saving uh, we're not going to apply any zetas right now uh, i'm going to wait on that and kind of see where we're at uh, and kind of try to decide where we want to go with that uh, and see you know where where would be the best zeta to apply uh, right now, we're going to wait on that one too because that force bond isn't going to matter uh, for this. So yeah, just using some of these omegas basically, you know, we are going to get down pretty low, I think. Um, and so there we go. We've got that squad uh, looking a little better. Uh, we've still got a lot of work to do on them and I think it's going to be at least a couple more weeks uh, before we get uh, Jahani to seven stars and then we'll do that event you see Han Solo, we're just missing a couple of pieces here. Uh, it is available in Conquest, though. So we might might do that next week to get him to gear 12. Um, so, and then Mar Jade, we could go ahead and give her a level. Uh, but I don't think we're going to. I'm just kind of looking through here and see kind of where we're at. Uh, I do want to get him at least to uh, a little bit higher. Yeah, we've still got some work to do on... That Treya squad, but at least everybody has protection now. And Darth Talon there is just kind of a thrown in one. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to put. There's kind of our squads that I've thrown together for right now. Uh, if we do go for Star Killer, uh, which looking at kind of where we're at and some of the teams I want to build, I think Star Killer is looking more and more uh, like a solid option that we could go for as we. Um, continue to get shards and other things for our uh if we're going to continue to go for java uh so we'll go ahead and upgrade a few ships here razor crest xandu blood we will go ahead and apply uh, the abilities on these um and get those ones all the way maxed out houndstooth also needs to be uh, something needs to be added to houndstooth ebon hawk we did get to five stars so we'll go ahead and upgrade that and we will upgrade uh the reinforceability and that it dispels all buffs on all enemies so that is a solid ability there and definitely uh glad to have that one uh we are kind of just upgrading a few of these ships um so that we can we're at a good spot executor we were able to get it to six stars uh, this time around and i think if we push pretty hard i think we can get next time i'll have to save up some crystals and we can get a seven stars and be done with that and finalize those uh, uh we are working on a distinction bomber there um and we'll continue working on that uh, right now we are just trying to get the count to four million so we can do probing proving grounds um and so we'll see 
uh, kind of how we uh, how we do with that. Uh, Sith Empire Trooper has been on light side nodes, so we do get a lot of shards of him. Uh, he is a uh, normally in Cantina, so we will continue to do that. And we got the Mark IV. Uh, definitely have, uh, yeah, got, got a lot of work to do on there. We're not going for Leviathan right now, uh, but it is something we can look at doing. Uh, and look there if the target ally is Bounty Hunter. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and upgrade some of these abilities here, use some of those materials. And so getting close there on Executor, uh, yeah, just getting that to seven stars is going to be huge. Yeah, so we need about 5,000 crystals next time. Uh, to do that, so we are going to have to stash some away uh, to get Executor finished off next time. I think that is totally doable um, uh, since we're not buying. Uh, part of it is we had to slow that farm a little bit because we were buying the uh, tickets or the dark side uh, stuff for C to get that event done a little faster. So, uh, give and take there. So, and Millennium Falcon here. Uh, we are going to upgrade a few things probably. Just taking a look at it. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that one. And keep working on that. Uh, we are going to need it for uh, Jedi Luke. And so we'll get that at a good spot. Uh, you can see a little bit of where we're at right now. And just looking through a few of these. Um, see if there's anything we can really upgrade get a few more we need 65,000 more GP and we should be able to um, go ahead and I think we can do that just flex the account a little bit and get to that point uh, apply some stuff and get a few of these characters up a little bit more um, Greedo we can go ahead and take to 85 and go ahead and apply some gear Start getting him going. And yeah, these abilities, just applying them, helps a little bit with GP. Uh, it's not a huge amount, obviously, like that we're getting here, but we're gonna need Greedo anyways. So we'll keep going on that. Yeah, and then we can find, I mean, Gamorrean Guard is ready to go. Uh, Mob Enforcer needs some more shards. Um, and then Resistance Pilot here. Since he is a pilot, uh, that's going to help uh, quite a bit by applying these stars. You can see it's quite a bit more every time we're applying a leveled him, since it is the ship and him combined. So that is helping out quite a bit. Um, and then, yeah, we can go ahead and add that. I mean, this isn't adding a whole lot to the account. And this is most of what we've, uh, most of this episode is just getting us to a little bit higher level. And you can see we're getting, some of this is shard shop currency too. Like we're, we're going to have an overflow from, um, Night Sister Spirit. So we'll go ahead and just get seven stars and then we can have that shard shop currency. Uh, zombie, unfortunately, is not to seven stars yet. I think it's going to end up at five, probably. Yeah, it looks like five. So we need a few more shards on Zombie. Um, and then we're yeah, Han Solo, Captain Han Solo here. Go ahead. This will be for our Jedi Knight Luke journey. Um, go ahead and get him up and running. And we are using quite a bit of currency here. Uh, so we will... But yeah, just basically getting those journey guide characters um, at least started. And just looking through here to see kind of where we're at. What we can do. Um, and it really is. Uh, Jedi Training Ray put her at 50. Or sorry, is that Scavenger Ray? Yeah. We'll need her eventually. If we're going to go Jedi Master Luke, uh, we'll need her um, to at least unlock Jedi Training Ray. And that's the thing, like, we're just, some of these characters are going to be needed for other journeys that are going to be needed for the journeys we're kind of on, so. We'll 
output and then we can kind of see where we're at along the way here not getting a huge amount here um, and yeah just 20 how much more do we need 26,000 uh, more GP and so we are just hunting here trying to be uh, we can go ahead and put this to 50 gives us a little bit more there not a whole lot um, yeah so inquisitors uh, we could actually probably the bigger ones would be if we found a pilot and put them to 50 uh, and then their ship would help us get more GP it's probably a better way of doing this uh, but we'll go ahead and Asajj we need eventually for gas so we can go ahead and put her promote uh, that would be actually be a pretty good ship I feel like if Asajj got her ship uh, they could add that to the Separatist fleet or something that would be really good I think she would go on her Separatist maybe not I guess she could be several different things technically and then yeah oops our battery almost died Got a plug in here so yeah we're just getting a few of these characters up and running and just trying to get there i think we can need 19 more we'll go ahead and get bush leia go ahead and put 50 and man we are almost out of credits so we need 18,000 more uh, let's go to shipbuilding though, and I think we can get quite a bit here. Uh, and finish it off. And BTLB Y Wing, we've almost got it. Uh, that's going to add quite a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we can go ahead. That gave us quite a bit there, so we need 6,000 more. I think we'll be just fine here. Uh, yeah, because we don't have anything really applied here. And there you go. With our Rebel Y-Wing, we are able to get to 4 million GP. We'll go ahead and add um, at least the non-gold uh, parts to this uh, and get it up and running. So that should be... Uh, pretty good spot there and you can see just just doing those abilities for these pilot ships you do get quite a bit on applying the abilities uh, unlike the pilots um, so the pilots do don't add as much for their abilities so yeah rebel layer officer Leia Organa here we can apply a few more things to her uh, I've got quite a bit of work to do for Jedi Knight Luke still uh, but we are uh, progressing and we will go ahead and add some more uh, abilities here to Captain Han Solo so he's kind of done and we don't have to worry about him as much um, but yeah that looks pretty good for right now and we'll keep applying things to him and definitely have a lot more work to do on him but hopefully uh, that is a solid update uh, you can see we've been staying mainly top 100 in squad at top 10 in fleet we have managed to get top five uh, a couple times in fleet but it has been kind of difficult hopefully you guys enjoyed this week 73 update if you did like comment subscribe and as always thanks for watching